Hey everybody, how's it going? It's James from ClickFunnels, and today I wanted to talk to you about the layout to the page inside of the editor. So I started off here with a little graphic uh, mocked up by our fabulous designer, Dylan Jones, really appreciative of everything he does. And basically what I want to do is talk to you about how the page is laid out inside of ClickFunnels, and hopefully it'll give you a better understanding of how to style the page whenever you're creating your own content. The first thing I want to say is uh, when you look at the page, you work from the outside towards the inside of the page. And if you're any kind of design guru or web designer yourself, you'll understand what I say when I say that sections uh, marked by green are the overall containers to everything that you see on the page. And they're usually marked off by some kind of horizontal border, and you can kind of tell when you hit new sections in the page. And, but we'll explain that a little further whenever we're looking at a live page inside of ClickFunnels. After that, we've got rows and columns, and these two kind of go hand in hand with each other. Uh, rows are distinguished by the number of columns that they have, and they're marked off with blue. And next we have elements. Elements are marked off with a bright orange, and they're typically the certain features on the page that make the page uh, kind of what it is. You know, if you have an, uh, an order form, then you've got all these form fields, and those are all elements of the page. Maybe you've got a video along with it, video element to kind of give the page uh, some interaction with the customer. Um, all of that kind of ties in to how the page should be laid out. So let's look at a live page inside of ClickFunnels and see where things go with that. All right, so what we have here is a freshly generated page inside of ClickFunnels. And the first thing I want to start off showing you is these four tabs over here on the right nav bar. First one marks sections, then rows, then columns, and then elements. So let's take a look at the sections here. What you can see so far is that there are four specific sections to the page. And as mentioned beforehand, there are some horizontal lines that kind of mark off where these sections stop and where the next one starts. As you can see, it's very clear here about that line and this one here to kind of differentiate where sections belong. The next thing I want to show you is the rows and columns. These are marked off with a blue border whenever you highlight over them. And inside of this one, you can see right here it says we have a two column row. So what that means is that there are two columns inside of this row to which you can place elements inside of. And these elements are marked off with orange. The same goes for the next section where we have a green section marked off with a two column row with two columns of specific elements inside of the page. Now these elements, you can continue to add on uh, new things underneath them, and these columns can drag on down and down as long as you need them to go. So as mentioned beforehand, you work from the outside in pertaining to sections, then rows, and then columns, and then elements. If you've got any other questions about how the page is laid out inside of ClickFunnels or how to design pages yourself using the software, by all means, feel free to contact support. We're more than willing to reach out and lend a helping hand with anything that you need to get accomplished. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.